Hey guys, Brandon with uh, 360 Trail View again. We got Chase with us. We're gonna today. We're gonna be looking at another product from Seismic. We're going to be um, looking at our first impressions and the installation of their rear view mirror. Um, I don't know if you saw the other video we had, but we recently installed the side view mirrors, which are the the pursuit uh, side view mirrors made by Seismic as well. Um, if you haven't seen that video and you're curious about that, we'll put a link in the uh, description so you can see that video as well. But right now, we're going to get into the rear view mirror, kind of look at the, the overall packaging, um, and then get into the installation. So let's take a look at it. So um, first things first, we're looking at the box similar to the last one. I really like the packaging that Seismic uses. Um, good, clean, crisp. Um, pictures when you look around the box it's got a lot of great just you know information about the mirror just the 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 main benefits and features about the mirror um, just a really good looking package again i'm a fan of that so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what's in the package that comes everything's boxed real nice and secure we've got our mirror here um, and it looks like we've got our, our bar clamp to go around the roll cage. And I got it for the two inch uh, roll cage for my Can-Am and all the mounting brackets and, and hardware that go along with that. Set those aside. And it looks like we've got some rubber isolators and of course all of our uh, instruction manuals. Uh, we also have Similar to the side view mirrors, we got the color kit. You can customize um, these mirrors uh, if you have a color theme on your side by side. They've got a number of different color options. In fact, I think it shows on the back of this box the different color options that they have available. The gray, yellow, red, and blue. So, because we've got a yellow machine, we got the yellow uh, color kit. And so basically with, with the mirror, the mirror itself is about $65. Um, I think that's a pretty reasonable price for something like this. And then an extra $10 um, for the color kit. Um, again, it's seismic product. Like their other mirrors, they, they do have a unlimited um, lifetime warranty. So however you use it, if it breaks, if it falls off, you roll over, the glass shatters, whatever the case is, um, they're willing to replace these. Um, for whatever reason. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this ready and to install on the Can-Am. Okay, so you, as you can see, we've got everything kind of laid out here. Um, we've got our, our mirror here and the mirror is kind of, it's constructed of this structurally reinforced uh, ABS plastic. Uh, it's got our shatterproof um, convex glass, so it should be pretty durable. Uh, we've got our color kit our bar clamp, and our, our bracket or arm that's going to attach to the bar clamp. It also comes with these, I believe these are rubber isolators. I think you can use, um, maybe if, if you need a little, take up a little space or shim um, between the, the roll cage and your clamp here. It doesn't take a lot of tools. As you can see, we've got two bolts, um, not a lot to it. So it, we just have a couple of tools out that we're gonna need. We've got a, um, a uh, six millimeter Allen wrench and a five millimeter Allen wrench for the two tools for the um, installing the mirror. And then I'm gonna install the color kit and the arm right here before I go into the machine. Um, and so I'm gonna be replacing this gray bezel with the yellow bezel. And really all it's gonna take is we've got some, some Torx uh, screws that, that hold that bezel on. Um, so I've got my, my Torx bit here on my ratchet. It's a T15 Torx. 
um, and it should go pretty easy. So I'll go ahead and get this sw swapped out and then we'll move into the machine. thing um, like I said before it's it seems like a super simple de design we just got our bar clamp um, and then our our mirror is going to attach to this bar clamp um, I really like the design of this bar clamp um, it's it's really simple and it's a two-piece clamp so we can take it apart and it'll help us kind of sneak this around the bar this is especially helpful if you've got like a roof in place like I do so um, I'm just gonna pull that apart I can just get it around and you want the flat side with the the nut facing your windshield or the front of the vehicle so now we got that in place and I'm gonna pop this back in okay now we got the clamp on and I've got my mirror right here and so you've got you've got kind of like a guide hole this top hole is for this notch right at the top of the the mounting arm and then this other bottom hole is where the screw goes through so we're going to go ahead and slide that in there hold it in place get our screw started and this is our six millimeter allen We can kind of adjust the position before I tighten it up all the way so I get it in the right spot and then just torque it down. There you have it, not much to it. Now, um, with both of these mirrors, we've got our, our rear view mirror, our, our pursuit side mirrors, both of them, you know, so far. Just super simple, easy design, um, very functional. I like how easy it is to install them. Um, but we're gonna also see how they function out on the trail. Uh, they're mirrors, they should function pretty well, but um, it'll be nice to kind of see how they, you know, work with all the vibrations and the ups and downs and the bumps. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're gonna be heading down to Moab this weekend and we're gonna be testing these mirrors out for the first time. And thanks for watching.